Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and, um, well, the um, Yesu FTDX10 that I'm continuing to study and play with has a lot of great features and one of them that attracts a lot of people that, you know, makes it kind of sexy is a, that 3D display, that 3D waterfall if you want. So you can have a standard waterfall just like a standard, um, you know, a SDR and here you can change the levels so that the levels show more or less signals. So this is more of a standard uh, SDR and you can of course change the span to how wide you want it to see the signals. Uh, or you have the 3D uh, which is kind of spread spectrum or it's it's the same thing in a different view. Now you don't want it to look like this. You see how it looks like this? That you can't get any information out of that. When you uh, press to get the menu, you go into the level on the upper left. You make sure that that's what's chosen. You'll see here on the upper right that it says you're set to change level. It's the level of the waterfall that you're going to set here. What you want when you're in a band is to set that waterfall so that it looks like little blades of grass are coming out. Just like this. And what does that do? Notice how we see these signals here to the left, which are other stations on uh, sideband, and how we can, you know, tune around and go and check out, check them out if we want um, properly. So what you want to have is just blades of grass, barely. Whoops, I just uh, pressed a button that I don't want to press back. So you want to have that level to just have barely blades of grass, nothing more, because that's what's going to give you a proper display of what you see on your screen. So when you go and check it out, so here there's a signal. I'm going to go and check that out. We're now out of the band, hand bands, of course. And it's WBCQ here, which, go, which is off frequency. So this is WBCQ, and of course, any other signals, if you're on a band, let's go to a band that might have more info. Let's go to 11930. Oops, 900 is okay. Look at how we see the different signals very well on that 3D display. Now look at that 3D display, and look at it if I put it way too high like this it's kind of useless there's a lot of spikes that are not really interesting there's you're not really sure where the signals are you really really need to make sure that you set that level to little blades of grass like i said you see little blades of grass coming out then now you'll see all the spikes and now it's going to be a useful display for the 3d display so uh that is a little trick that i can uh, give you about the uh ftdx10 to uh, do it again, to have this level. Of course, don't drive your amplifiers if you have a lot of noise and stuff because it's useless. And just quick press on the function button. Choose the level because that's what you want to have. Once again, you'll see that the function button now actually changes the level. Just make sure that you, you know, change that to minimal and as you change the span, you will also change that. So you see if I span more, I might have to play again with that to get the minimal amount of little blades of grass to get the bunch of signals that are here. So depending on the span that you're gonna choose to see, you will have to change that on... Yes, Mr. Paul is meowing at me. So that's how you're going to use that 3D display to be useful, of course. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.